Hey, I'm happy to announce that I'm now officially part of a 5 a.m. club. It's been over two months since I've consistently woken up at 5 a.m. This extra time has opened up a world of possibilities for me. My creative juices are at their peak. Plus, I get all the time for my reflection and gratitude, basically working on myself. But the journey was not an easy one. I struggled to get here for over a year. But for the past six months, I have consciously worked on strengthening my willpower and self-discipline. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you four simple steps that I put together to boost my willpower and strengthen my self-discipline. Let's get started. Hey there, my name is Aparna. I'm a certified coach. Every week I bring to you tips, tricks, tools and hacks that can help you upskill your life. And if this interests you, do consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're there, do not forget to press the bell icon so you're notified every week when I post a new video, which is every Thursday. If you're watching this on Facebook, do not forget to like and follow my page. It's our willpower that helps us achieve everything that we want or do not want in our life. And it's discipline that helps us stay consistent in this effort. It's our willpower that makes us say no to things that distract us. It's the discipline that helps us keep our heads down, study or work hard even when we don't like it to earn that degree or promotion. It's a combination of willpower and self-discipline that is behind the decision we make to move forward or stay where we are in life. So how can you strengthen your willpower muscle? How can we become disciplined to do what we want to in life? One, start with a purpose. Why do you want to do it? Purpose gives us meaning and direction in life. Purpose is your why. The stronger your why is, the more disciplined you will be. So if you're struggling with discipline in any area of your life, chances are you haven't figured out why you want to do it. So start tapping into that purpose, that goal. For example, for me, the question was, why do I want to wake up at 5 a.m.? What do I achieve from this? Why is it important to me, etc. Two, you focus only on one activity. When we take on many things, we overload our brains and laziness eventually takes over. The best way to get into discipline is to focus on only one thing. Focus on it until it becomes a habit and then you move on to the next thing. My goal was to make time for reflection and meditation and basically use this quiet time to capture my thoughts. This was directly connected to the work I was doing, the content I was creating, which in turn impacted my work. So instead of focusing on every single thing, I focused only on one thing, which is to sleep early. I need seven hours of sleep. So in order for me to get up at 5 a.m., I need to sleep by 10 p.m. And I did it consistently until it became a habit. When an activity becomes a habit, you don't need to use your willpower for it. Three, you prepare for distractions. Distractions will come. So it's better that you accept it and be prepared for it so that you can handle it better. What can make you move away from your plan? For me, the distraction was watching TV at night. I know when I switch on a program, I'll be tempted to watch it, which will in turn affect my sleep. To kill the urge of watching TV, I made my son responsible for switching it off. To kill the urge to browse on social media, I scheduled a screen time app that blocks out my phone. So basically, I found my weakness and temptation and I created a plan to counter it. Four, you nourish your body. How does that fit in? Well, because your health is important to maintain discipline. We need all the right nutrients in our body to maintain optimal health. Protein and carbs give us energy. This energy helps us stay physically active. The more active you become, the more disciplined you will be. It's such a simple yet profound truth. Figure out what type of foods will make you healthy and energetic. For me, it's raw veggies in, in a salad form or fruits and nuts that boost up my energy instantly. So I ensure I have enough of them in my day. Sometimes when I feel lethargic, a good amount of water in my body can actually get me back on track. Try it and see. So there you go. Those are the four things I have done, four steps that uh, help me build up my willpower and be focused or disciplined in what I wanted to achieve. Let me recap them out for you. What do you think of these four steps? I'd love to hear from you. 
do leave it in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, do hit a like button and share it with your friends and I'll see you next week. Until then, take good care of yourself. Bye.